Choose between your Baba's pierogies or your Baba's cabbage rolls. Oh, I almost got to say next question, but I'll go pierogies for sure. <laughs> oh, she's mad now. Are you disrespecting her cabbage rolls? Not at all. I had to pick one, right? You're from Boyle, Alberta. Who else would I know from Boyle? Uh, Tim Haig, who's a <laughs> UFC fighter and some Jay Onright. Jay Onright's mom, Joanne, and your mom, Carrie, are dear friends, right? Yeah, Terry and Joanne go way back, about 30 years, actually. Your dad, Bob, and Onright's mom, Joanne, were in a band together, right? The Rainbow Riders. The, a mix of Ukrainian polka and Bee Gees cover. It's the hot new thing. Plus, your cousin Trevor is married to Onright's sister, Erin, correct? You've done your research. Well, that is true. But I'm kind of thinking, what, what the heck's going on in Boyle, right? <laughs> Long winters, man, I guess. It's cold. It's cold in Northern uh, When you grew up in Boyle, yeah. Oilers or Flames? Oh, Oilers, 100%. Did you nominate Boiler for the Craft Celebration Tour? We're not allowed. Uh, not supposed to. Natasha Staniszewski, can you spell either one of her names? N-A-T-A-S-H-A. N-A-T-A-S-C-H-A. So I'm going to give you a... In Ukrainian, though, that's how you spell it. Oh, okay, yeah. so you got me technicality on it. <laughs> what about Detition? Uh, D-U-C-A... No, you're wrong again. Dutchy, it's Dutchy no, you're shit. wrong! You, you don't get a second chance. Okay. You know what? We'll bring in a 12-year-old, though, from last week in the spelling bee, and they'll do better. Your dad was a principal, right? That's why my marks are bad in high school. There you go. Because of your dad? No, no, he was my math teacher. And my English was bad, too. Your but... dad taught you math? Yeah. How bad was that, though? Uncomfortable. It was fine. He was a great teacher. I just... I'm uh, not that smart, Michael. Who's the worst sports center anchor at doing up a tie? Whew. Next question. Play by play for curling, right? You do yes. it. You do a lot of draws, and then you will probably watch Vic do it, right? Can you imitate Vic Router? Uh, he's a legend. I could try. Try. Make the final. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. Not bad. What's your? What was your slogan when you were a weatherman at 19 in New Westminster? Uh, it was no flurries, no worries in Lloydminster. <laughs> but I didn't do that. But it, <laughs> you've added that over time. Yeah, it feels what, good. What's the worst thing to ever happen to you in a reporter scrum? Oh, actually, a fight broke up between two reporters, and I just started laughing. They were banging each other's flash mics, and it was actually, I believe, Randy Furby, and he was like going, what's going on so here? So Randy Furby was being interviewed? Yeah. And those two guys the were... The two reporters kind of were hammering on each other. It was you, funny. you got to live for that stuff. you got a golf tournament coming up, right? I do. Uh, I'm going to mention your website right now, brianmudrickgolfclassic.com. All the money goes to cancer, right? Yeah, 100% of the money goes to cancer at the Alberta Cancer Foundation, the Cross Cancer Institute. How many years have you been doing this? Uh, it's our ninth year. We've raised uh, half a million dollars. That's so amazing, but I'll tell you what, beyond that, you are a model for kids who have uh, who have cancer because you had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma at 17, yeah. then it came back at 19, and 13 years later you're alive and well right yeah no it's great and uh, a lot of things goes to that hospital and that's why we do this michael who's the biggest celebrity that'll be there this year uh hands down probably darren detition ah hopefully you won't be making up the place cards and have to write out his name uh i got time though to get the spelling right and uh, before we're done take a look at this okay and then give me a comment okay <laughs> All right, so what is that? When was that? And I don't, guess I don't have to say who was that. Uh, YouTube, eh? Well, that was in Edmonton. It was actually Dancing for the Stars, a charity event, and uh, we had to uh, dance against six other couples. That was obviously the hustle, and my Ukrainian heritage and the hips obviously <laughs> helped me come through, and uh, no big deal, but award-winning dancer now, Mike. Uh, okay, I'm going to say burn, baby, burn. you got to give me the hand motion, okay? The, burn, baby, burn. It was like this, and okay. then this, and then this, and we had to do like a thing. Something like that. Off the Record with Michael Landsberg. Brought to you by the Keg Steakhouse and Bar. For great steaks, good friends. See you tonight. Michael Landsberg's wardrobe provided by Got Style. Voted Toronto's best menswear store.